Welcome to MCC Pilot Log. In this video tutorial, we will show you how to log simulator time. We will first tell you how to create a simulator. Next, you will see how to log a simulator session. And finally, we will explain to you how to print reports for sim time. To create a simulator, you go to the Tables page and continue with Aircraft. This page is showing you all aircraft and simulators. To add a simulator, press the Add New button and select Type equals Simulator. Whatever simulator you fly worldwide, it has a unique ID. The ID can be found on the internet, or you can ask it from your instructor. The ID can be something like UK-146. If you don't know the ID, you can enter whatever you want, such as SIM-787. Then continue with the model. In the sample, that will be a Boeing 787. Verify that all boxes are set properly, especially the device box, which here is set to Full Flight Simulator. Also, your default function on board the simulator. In the sample, I have selected Pilot in Command. Also, it makes no sense to log IFR time on board a simulator, so I will clear this box. You can now save this simulator. After creating the simulator ID on the tables page, you can now log a sim session. For that, you go to the flight page, and you enter the sim ID in the aircraft box. You will see that, as soon as I hit the Tab key on my keyboard, some of the boxes will be removed from the display, simply because we don't log this information on a simulator session, such as flight number or the departure and arrival airfields. Here I go. You also see that, since I had selected Pilot in Command as default function, Pilot Self, myself, is preloaded in Pilot 1 box. I continue with my co-pilot, and the instructor. Next, insert total time, which will also be preloaded into the pilot in command function time box. This session was about the winter recurrent, and we can save this record. Your record has been added to the flight list. Flights and simulator sessions are both shown in the same list. However, Simulator sessions do have a gray back color. There are various reports showing your simulator experience. From right to left, you can start on the reports page and select any of the reports, such as this one. In fact, you can print any of these reports for Simulator if you use it in combination with a query that is defining sim time. You can also print Simulator time in your logbook. There is a separate sheet here on the right-hand side, or you can print your sim records together with your flights in the logbook. For that, you go to the logbook format page, and you select any of these options. Then, the third location to display simulator time is the Query page, where you can select Simulator from the drop-down list. For instance, 787 Simulator. Then, the last place to look up simulator time would be on the Home page, where you find simulator time in the left corner. Now keep in mind that this box here is only showing aircraft time, it's not showing simulator breakdown. To find your simulator breakdown, press on View More, and then select the Simulator Radio button. This page is now showing a breakdown of your simulator. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching this video.